Hey, this is Ramon Ray, editor of Smart Hustle Magazine. We're here uh, talking with Ryan Himmel. Am I pronouncing your name right? Yeah, that's right. Ryan Himmel, who's vice president of partnerships and other kind of cool things at Zero. So, Ryan, thanks for taking the time to talk to me and the Smart Hustle audience today. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Really excited to share some of my uh, experiences at Zero and small businesses. Awesome. So, Ryan, before we dive into it, for the for the few for the for the boneheads, these are my words, not yours, who don't know what Zero is, uh, tell us what is Zero. Why is it so important? I know you guys are fired up about small business. And then let's talk about your role with a bit with partnerships and things of that sure, nature. Then sure. we'll dive into the topic of the day, AI. Sure. So Zero is a cloud-based accounting software solution. Uh, we serve small businesses that have about up to $2 million in revenue mm -hmm. and serve about 20 employees each. Um, Zero has been around for about 11 years. Mm -hmm. We've grown dramatically over the last 11 years. And we're a global company. We, we started in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. We uh, expanded into Australia and the UK. And we're leaders in all three of those markets. And we're quickly growing in the US. We have about 50% year over year growth. And what's really important about Zero is, is, is a cloud based solution. So when you think about a small business owner, and I've been a business owner my previous life. Okay. That, um, that is kudos. Some executives that don't know the trials and travails of running a small business. That's yeah. good. So as a small business owner, you have to right. wear multiple hats. So it's really important to be able to leverage technology so that you can run your books, you can run your e-commerce platform, and all the information talks with each other. So if you have Shopify and you have Zero, mm -hmm. the sales reports from expense, uh, from Shopify uh, seamlessly go into Zero. Right. And then if you want to use some of the Shopify's analytical tools, such as uh, sales trends, mm -hmm. you can pull that data from Zero and surface it in Shopify. Okay. So it's really important to be able to have that capability as a small business owner, mm -hmm. uh, where you can basically run your books, but also have other applications that are crucial for your business talk to each other. And I think that is so true. I mean, as a small business owner, I run through a variety of different applications and et cetera. But I think it's I would see zero, I guess, or, or whatever financial application you're using as the uh, as an operating system. I think there's the marketing side, which is one big part right, of it. Right, but I think right. besides that, it's finance. So yeah. I think you're right. Nobody's. I've, I interview a lot of small business owners, and all of them are using one of a variety, whether it's Asana or right, right. 10 million other applications. Exactly. So I think that integration, which is part of what yeah, you do, yeah, is yeah, key. Yeah, so that's one of the key differentiators of Zero compared to the competition. When we started, we were born in the cloud, right. we're mobile first, and then we also launched a marketplace Got of different app partners that are critical for a small business because we know that um, accounting is one part of the business, but a small business needs to be able to run other applications right. seamlessly and have that interact with your accounting solution. And they need to understand it. I know my big thing, Ryan, man, I'm a marketing guy. Numbers actually make me queasy. I get sick. I start, see if you say numbers too much or spreadsheets, I'll start sweating. Well, <laughs> spreadsheets are bad for you. Right, That's right, a bad right, word right. for you, but you get my yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, profit and loss. I can't even spell profit. <laughs> so that's a, that's a tough, but anyways, yeah, yeah. Uh, anything else on that point? Then we'll move to AI. Uh, yeah, and so another really important thing about Zero is the fact that um, we've grown so quickly, mm. um, and we're able to innovate as quickly as uh, quicker than any other of our competitors. Mm. Um, so when you think about a company that's gone from say 100,000 customers eight years ago to over a million subscribers today, and our ability to manage that growth right. and to innovate is absolutely critical. Uh, if you look at our co competitors, maybe they've launched two or three updates in the last year, we've had 1,200 product updates. Okay. So it's really important to understand that, mm -hmm. that distinguishing feature. As a small business owner, especially the millennials out there that we serve, the ability for uh, to leverage a, a solution like Zero right. is absolutely critical for their the growth. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then moving to the point of the day, so we got zero, why it's awesome and why you're in love with zero. Um, let's talk about artificial intelligence. That's a word unto itself which sounds scary, sounds something insane, but at a high level, Ryan, how do you define artificial intelligence? And more importantly, combining your answer, why is it important to small businesses? I get why it's important yeah. to Walmart and, and right. Scorsese, the guy who does movies. Sure. Okay, I get yeah. that. But for us, right. what is it? Why is it important? Yeah, so it's really about um, letting the machines handle all the the, the tasks, at mm -hmm. least specific to accounting, right. such as bookkeeping. It takes away all the commoditized tasks that a small business owner or their accountant would have to do. And we use machines to kind of automate that mm -hmm. whole process. Think about reconciliation okay. or sending out an invoice. Those are kind of mundane tasks that a small business owner or accountant has to do. I do it every Friday and it's mundane indeed. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but if you can leverage data within zero right. 
Zero has a ton of data. I think we had over $1.4 trillion worth of transactions over the last year mm-hmm. going in and out of the platform. So there's a ton of data in Zero. Right. We recently migrated over to AWS. Okay. So we can productize that data mm-hmm. and we can look at historical trends and apply mm-hmm. it to the future actions of a small business owner. So let's say you want to reconcile a bank transaction okay. and you need to code it a certain way as an office expense or mm-hmm. another type of expense. We can look historically and see the types of ways that you've coded that transaction uh-huh. as well as other similar small business owners and actually automate the whole process going forward. We haven't released it from bank sure, reconciliation sure. yet, but that's kind of the future where we're, we're headed. Got it. And then what? can you give me another example, make it up or that happens, I'm selling a, I'm selling microphones, Ryan. <laughs> you know, <laughs> give me another example of how AI works in my business, why I might be interested in it. Bank reconciliation is one. Anything else, whether it's finance or something else, just so my owners can get a grasp of, yeah, you know, we so, hear artificial intelligence. Yeah, sure. So what, what's really interesting about Xero is we have a great small business accounting software right. solution, but we also serve another constituent, which is accountants. Okay. And so if you're a small business owner and you're looking for an accounting solution, you're probably also looking for an accountant. Okay. And so if you're selling microphones and you go to Xero, we have mm. a chat bot as, uh, within the accountant mm. um, directory. And you can say, hey, I'm in New Jersey mm-hmm. and, I sell, and I sell microphones. Can you guys help me? And then a pop-up would appear to try to find the most relevant Got accountant that fits your needs. Mm-hmm. Obviously, like Xero is not going to make the decision for you, sure, but we can guide you. Think of it more as a, as a matchmaking service. Got it. Uh, so we're looking at different ways that we can help a small business run their business beyond just the accounting software. So a full kind of scope of how we can serve small Good. business. So AI is not necessarily one into itself, but as far as zero is concerned, it's how can we implement intelligence? How can we inter- uh, implement some smart into our software to benefit the business? Does that right. make sense? Exactly. Okay. And when you think about kind of how zero is working with partners, other partners are starting to leverage AI. There's banks out there that right. are looking to leverage AI in how they um, interact with their small business customers. Right. And so as, when we think about partnerships, we like to partner with like mind those that are ser- serving a like-minded audience. Got it, got it. And so, so a partner that says, I hate AI, that's not a fit for zero? Like you see a big a big sign on their door, you're like, nah, they're probably not for us. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, and what about beyond... One uh, of the criteria. Uh, one of the criteria. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about beyond finances, beyond zero? Let's talk about AI in general as well, if you can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any, any thoughts, either A, how I should begin to use AI as a business, and I would assume a lot of it, this is going to come from my third-party vendors. You know, I'm right, not going to be right, programming right, it. Right, but right. It, let's go beyond just financing, which I know Zero's doing. Mm-hmm. Anything else that I should consider in my business? I know there's marketing. I'm hiring staff. Anything that you're seeing, or maybe you guys are doing it at Zero, yeah, that you can think yeah. AI is a good something I should start exploring? Yeah, yeah, so I've seen some trends in the marketing space okay. on how to automate different mar- mar- uh, marketing processes mm-hmm. that a small business may have. Uh, so you think about all the different social channels that yeah. a small business needs to manage. And that's not really their mm-hmm. core competency. It's mm-hmm. about running the business and generating right. revenue. So there's different tools out there that leverage AI. Mm-hmm. Looking at the characteristics of the small business they serve, you can right. basically send a data file over to a marketing firm mm-hmm. that has AI capability. Got it. And then they can start to help you target different segments of the market that are consistent with who you serve today and who your best right. customers are today. Got it. So I've seen it in a variety of areas. It's just going to be a growing trend. And I think the small business solution providers out there, whether it's accounting, marketing, right. um, or even legal, that leverage mm-hmm. it are going to be able to, yeah, that, that are going to be the ones that are going to grow the fastest and support small business in right. a major way. Um, and last question, I have anything, anything else, feel free to add. Uh, do you think that BI, business intelligence, is a cousin to AI? Is this different? Is it is it a similar field? Because I know we, I hear about business intelligence quite a bit where getting my metrics, my numbers, KPIs, all these terms that you probably know right, better than right, I know. Right, right, right. Is that a cousin? Is it similar? Is that a different side? Or it's how little, would you guide it? It's similar. I would say BI is more of an output of data okay. versus artificial intelligence is leveraging the data to make a connection Got it. to drive a specific action. Got it. And then one more question. For those small businesses, I have a number of audience members I can think who are averse to technology. Cloud, I think most people get today, but you know, they're hearing Ramon, AI or BI or other things. You know, you and Ryan are techies. You can see his nice shirt. You see my nice tie, maybe. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so any encouragement to them who are, who are listening, who are watching us, and I, basically my words, not yours, but don't be afraid of technology, is my point. Any thoughts on that just for those who are, yeah. who are resisting a bit? Yeah, know? so if you think about how long it takes you to conduct a manual process, mm. 
And if you can make that happen in seconds, in milliseconds, by leveraging technology, especially in the cloud, mm -hmm. you should really consider it. If your concern is about security, the level of security is greater usually than a manual process. Uh, we used AWS at zero. It's a very secure platform. And there are other uh, small business solutions that use very high level mm -hmm. secure uh, platforms that have the same security as, say, a bank. Um, so I would really consider it if you think about the efficiency that can drive your business and to help you grow your business. Awesome. Well, listen, this has been Ryan Himmel with uh, Zero, who's Vice President of Partnerships. Did I get all that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and who is my new AI buddy, my, my AI guru. So thanks for spending time with us today. Likewise. Pleasure to be here. Yeah. And I'm Ramon Ray, editor of Smart Hustle Magazine.